So what do we got here? Four people. Including... Why are there five names? After Violet's Adventures, founding members clockwise from top left. Hornfells, Gosson, Slate, and Feldspar. And who's Esker? Big thanks to these additional founding members and the one... Matthew Steinauer. Oh, these are... Uh, Patreon people. Or, you know, fund providing people. At the Wild Adventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally <laughs> launched into space. <laughs> A critical uh, qualifier there with intentionally. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon. The Atle Rock. Okay. What can you tell me about this, Hal? Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's a translator's tool inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez. Do not break it. Ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited! Good! You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? Here to see the new Nomai statue? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I knew you'd want to see it before you headed off. Hornfels just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish you could see what a real-life Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. I'm pretty sure it's not, and this is foreshadowing. Just as a side note from me, Dan, your uh, host. Check it out! Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Nomai look interesting. They got a little bit of a forward head position, like staring at their screens for a long day time every day. Yeah? It's pretty unhealthy there, Nomai dude. Okay, what do we got here? These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? Answer is the moon! And the orbits are planned. The Atelrock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. It's called Tides. Ooh. Now, this is impressive. This is impressive too. And I bet you this spot is reserved for one that we will get. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realized there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. That's some quantum shit right there. It's science, you know. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Oh, it's gone now. It's right there. Oh! Let's go. Oh! Oh! It's there now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Boink! Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. Hey, that's just like real life. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and it starts to contract. That's also just like real life. And then it goes like... It gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. The star is massive enough. It will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. 
Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Church's observation, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Cool. Okay, we got some spirally doos out there and something that reminds me of a teapot for some reason, even though it doesn't look like it at all. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out! Boink! Oh, that's pretty cool. The floor is a wall now. That's not confusing at all. What do we got here? First Moonlander? Uh, useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. So this is what they look like. So this is not a model, this is like actual size. We've used that. Just like minutes ago. Is that a Nomai skeleton? Yeah, parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possess antlers. And quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomian ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. I guess that's my job now. We have cool. Translate. Cassava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished oop, construction. And she says calibrating the device won't take long. Felix. Fortunately, the Atle Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search! Okay. These are uh, Nomai writings. All those texts are linear. Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Ah, so this is this is uh, that different author thing. Okay. Oh, that's where we came from. Let's go upstairs, I guess. Or up ramps. Ooh. You are here. My ship is also there. Look at that, we got an entire solar system. We have the Hourglass Twins. Um, with Amber and Ash Twin. And these are the ones we've observed with the... Uh, ooh, I forgot what it's called, the little scope we got. Uh, where we found some music, what's this though? Some sort of solar orbiter, if somebody or somebody else put there. We got Brittle Hollow, okay. And it's Little Lantern. We got the Atle Rock, Giant Steep. Oh, that's where the like the fancy currents are, and it's kind of orbiting some space shit. Mm, what else? We got Dark Bramble. Ooh, looks scary. And then out here, outside of all the planets, we got... What is that? It's like... I'm not sure. Something that's distorting gravity and or light around it. Well, we'll see. We will probably get to explore that. And that looks like basically everything. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, what do we got here? 
Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculation, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away the galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extra extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Yes! It's like 13.8 billion years ago. Something like that. Don't quote me on that. Look up on Wikipedia. Big Bang is what you want to look for. They just straight up, like, stole science from our own universe. Rude. Let's get the launch codes! Hornfells! What's up, my dude? There you are! I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you will be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomad Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? Uh, I'm gonna wing it. Oh, God damn it! I didn't choose the right option. I might have guessed as much. No sense in making a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We've barely scratched the surface of the Nomai riding in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We've no idea if they originated here or traveled here, or why they disappeared. That tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mystery of this ancient species. Well then, looks like all that is left to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. <laughs> Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Launch code is beep 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 uh, dash 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 dot dot dash dot. I hope I don't have to remember that. I have a terrible memory. And if I have to be like upbeat, upbeat and uh, you know, talking. Actually, no, cheese. And be surprised by video games? Oh, this is weird. That thing just downloaded my entire day into itself. Is this a safe point? <laughs> is this the coolest safe point ever in a video game? Anyway, as I was saying, um, like focusing on talking and, and exploring these new things and you know, all that. It's tough to keep things in mind. Hey, hey! So did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it actually opened my eyes. Whoa, whoa, the statue was doing what? So it's eyes open, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? Nah, it's a statue, dude. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? Hornfells tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answer from the museum statue, but Gabro said they were do, uh, going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck! And safe flying. Okay. Thanks. Now I'm kind of weirded out. There seems to be uh, weird stuff happening here and there. Can I use this timber elevator? Hmm. Maybe not. Uh, jump! Hey kiddo, little cowboy. 
Have fun. I'm going off to different planets. Hey, and I'm back. Let's talk to uh, Slate one more time. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Cool. All right, what do we got here? Enter launch codes. Beep, 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 beep. I'm guessing. Um. All right. Very cool. Let's see if there's anything like to interact with, learn. No. Is this beaming me up into the ship? Oh yeah, it is. Hello. This all seems very safe, like with all the wood, and uh, this just looks like like part of a barrel. Let's suit up. Nice. Little scout, see beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, and test the environment. Oh. Cool. So the suit comes with a, a little scout. Very good. Okay, let's check out the ship log. Village. Um, okay, this is just... This is just uh, stuff uh, I've already like experienced now. There's a rumor mode. View rumored entry. Hal says Gabriel went back to Chance Deep. Oh. So this is kind of the the story as it happened, or as it's happening. So this happened. I did this. And then there's a rumored entry that Gabro is on. God, I can't keep these names straight. Deep, 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 giant steep. And then there's a uh, a text about the uh, Normais uh, calibrating some sort of device on the Atlas Rock. That's uh, that's the squiggly we read, we translated. And I'm guessing these are the two paths I can take. And you know, just for, for starters, I kind of want to go to the little Atle Rock because it's, it's, it's just closer. Okay, there's like one of these gravity crystals. I guess let's buckle up. Okay, there's a lift off landing camera. There's a map view. No, now I can see more. The interloper. And oh, this is a cool comment. Nice. But I actually kinda wanna go to the to the Atle Rock. Um I guess there's like nothing to do but count down. Three, two, one. Lift off! Okay. Check out the cockpit view. Ooh, there it is. I'm matching the speed. I got, I got here, <laughs> pretty quick. Let's go into landing mode and then. Bloop. And. 
and here I seem to be. On this planet. And now I kind of want to uh, go out. Explore the planet. <laughs>